Compulsory English. Grade, 12. Time, 3 hours. FM, 75. Candidates are required to give answers in their own words as far as practicable. The figure in the margin indicates full marks. Attempt all the questions. 1. Read the following passage and do the activities that follow. The Zebra's Long Walk Across Africa James Gifford investigates some interesting new research into migration patterns of zebras living in Botswana in southern Africa. A. For any animal to travel over 270 kilometers in Botswana partly across the sand and low bush terrain of the Kalahari Desert is a remarkable achievement. But to do so in 11 days and without any obvious motivation, as this zebra population does, is quite extraordinary. On average their journey involves an exhausting round trip of 588 kilometers, between the Makadikgadi salt pan area and the Okavango River, making it second only to the great trek undertaken by the zebra herds in the Serengeti National Park. However, what is even more incredible still in my view is that until recently it was completely unheard of. B. Hattie Bartlam, a researcher, discovered this migration while she was tracking zebra groups, officially known as harems, by the Okavango River for her PhD, each harem consists of a stallion and his seven or eight mares with juvenile foals. There is no loyalty between zebras beyond this social, social group, though harems often gather together into so-called herds. For her study, Hattie had planned to compare the small-scale movement patterns of 11 different zebra herds in the area. C. In December, when the annual rains had transformed the roads into rivers, Hattie was, therefore, more than a little surprised when she checked the data sent by the radio collars she fits to the zebras she is tracking to find that six of the harems were 270 kilometers away on the edge of the Makadikgadi, a huge mineral-rich area where salt has collected over the years as water evaporates in the heat. Then, when the last of the moisture from the rains had disappeared in May the following year, five of those harems came wearily back to the Okavango. This raised the question, why, despite a plentiful supply of food and water, were the zebras being drawn eastwards to the salt pans? Even more difficult to understand was what made six of the groups travel so far, while the other five remained by the Okavango. D. This discovery created quite a buzz in the research community. I decided to visit Hattie and she explained that a century ago the large number of Botswana zebra and wildebeest herds and the resulting competition for grass made migration essential. One of the migration tracks went from the Okavango to Makadikgadi. But in the late 1960s, giant fences were put up to stop foot and mouth and other diseases spreading between wildlife and domestic cattle. One of these went across the migration track. Though the animals could get round the obstacle, each leg of their journey would now be 200 kilometers longer, an impossible distance given the lack of permanent water on the extended route. Even today, with the fence gone, it was taken down in 2004, there is dangerously little drinking water to support the zebras on the return journey to the Okavango. E. As a zebra can live up to 20 years, the migration must have skipped at least one generation during the 40 or so years that the fences were up. This prompts another question, it has always been assumed that the young of social herbivores like zebras learn migratory behavior from their parents, so how did the latest generation learn when and where to go? Not from their parents, who were prevented from migrating. Did they follow another species, such as elephants? We may never know. F. Hattie's data points to the conclusion that there are several zebra populations adopting different behavior. The first, like the vast majority of the Okavango zebras, take it easy, spending the entire year by the river. The second group, 15,000 to 20,000 strong, work a bit harder. They divide their time between the Makadikgadi salt pans and the Boteti River, which is reasonably nearby. They sometimes struggle to find water in the Boteti area during the dry season, often moving 30 kilometers in search of fresh grazing. Their reward, the juicy grass around the Makadikgadi after the rains. The final group of zebras, whose numbers are more modest, though as yet unknown, must surely be considered as among the animal kingdom's most remarkable athletes. By moving between the Okavango and the salt pans, they enjoy the best of both worlds. 
but the price they pay is an extraordinary journey across Botswana. G. Endangered species naturally tend to grab the headlines, so it's refreshing for a relatively abundant animal like the zebra to be the center of attention for once. Zebras are a vital part of the food chain, understanding their migration, in turn, helps us to interpret the movements of their predators, and Hattie's research has shed light on the impact of fences on migratory animals. So what triggered her interest in zebras? She explains that it is easier to get funding to study exciting animals like lions. Crucial as that undoubtedly is, she believes that herbivores like zebras are key to understanding any ecosystem. The scientific community is fortunate that people like Hattie are willing to take the hard option. A. Fill in the blanks with appropriate words from the passage. 5x1-5 A. Zebras tend to live together in small units, which experts call harems. B. A male zebra has charge of a number of adult mares and their young. C. Those units of zebra sometimes assemble in bigger groupings or herds. D. It is still clear that the zebra's loyalty only extends to the small unit they live in. E. According to Hattie study of zebra is also important for understanding any ecosystem. B. Choose only one suitable heading from column B for the each paragraph of the passage given in the column A 5x1-5. Column A. Column B. Paragraphs, heading. A. A nearly a record in the zebra world. B. See some confusing information. C. D. An obstruction on the traditional route. D. F. Three different ways of living. E. G. Why it is important to study zebras. C. Answer the following questions. 5 times 1 is equal to 5. I. What was Hattie's plan to study about zebra? Hattie's plan was to study about zebra migration. 2. How did Hattie feel when she heard some of the zebras had traveled, traveled so far? Hattie felt surprised when she heard some of the zebras had traveled so far. 3. What does the writer indicate when describing the different Botswana zebra populations? The writer indicates their obvious motivation is quite extraordinary when describing the different Botswana zebra populations. 4. Why do zebras migrate? Zebras migrate to enjoy the best of both worlds. V. What does the writer suggest in the final paragraph? The writer suggests that zebras are vital part of the food chain and understanding any ecosystem in the final paragraph. 2. Write short answers to the following questions. 5 times 2 is equal to 10. A. How did the neighbors respond to the woman's pregnancy? Neighbors. The neighbors respond to the woman's pregnancy by being happy when they knew that the woman is pregnant. The neighbors used to help pregnant woman. The neighbors helps pregnant woman in the beginning period of her pregnancy. The neighbors used to her in different situation. Sometimes, the neighbor used to vegetables, for their survival, woods for their woman. Like this, the neighbors took care and respond to the pregnancy. B. How was Gouvernail different from Mrs. Baroda's expectation? A respectable woman. Gouvernail was different from Mrs. Baroda's expectation. She expected him to be friendly, a bit talkative and interesting guy and sort of attractive. When her husband told her about Gouvernail, she had made a different perspective about him in her mind. But when he arrived he was totally different. He was tall and skinny. He was not so friendly neither was he talkative. And also he was not that attractive and interesting. See, what does the line the news like squirrels ran mean? A day. The line the news like squirrels ran means published newspapers which reached everyone's house by the hawkers early in the morning. Squirrels are faster running creatures. The light of the sun spreads rapidly too. So, the line indicates indicates that the news of sunrise was faster like the speed of quirrels. D. What does the speaker pray for in the poem? Why? Every morning I wake. The speaker prays for every person and for long lives in the poem because the God is the only creature of everyone. The speaker prays for the grace and blessings to the people with the God because only God helps the poor creatures. E. Why did the writer dislike school? On libraries. 
the writer disliked school because there he had to listen to the teachers passively and follows them. He could not read there as his will. He loved to read in libraries because he could choose any book as he liked. 3. Write long answers to the following questions. 2x5-10. A. How does the poet highlight the magnificence of the God in the poem Every Morning I Wake? Every Morning I Wake is a poem written by Dylan Thomas in 1914. He is an English novelist. In this poem he highlights the magnificence of God. In the poem, the poet has pray for God for the long lives of every person. He prays for the morning sun and sunset too. As a morning sun indicates about a beginning life and sunset indicates the end of life. The poet highlights the magnificence of the God in the poem. The poet prays for the people in the poem. He assembles the live of people. He likes the evening when the sun sets, and enjoy the moment. God has power to magnificence the world. God makes the sun starts a day and sunsets end the day. After all, it is universal which is made naturally. The God has much magnificence to control the world. The poet highlights the magnificence of God via the speaker's daily prayers in the morning and at night. God knows the entire essence of the creature, therefore it is God's blessings that see us through another day. B. A Nepali proverb says, neighbors are companions for wedding procession as well as for funeral procession. Does this proverb apply in the story in neighbors? Justify. Neighbors are companions for wedding procession as well as for funeral procession. Neighbors are people who live nearby us. The above proverb is those really very true. Even it is any wedding or funeral neighbors are the one who arrives first. Not all our relatives live nearby us. So, they can't just arrive on time every time we need them. But neighbors are there even if it is a small thing or big. The proverb also applies in the story neighbors. The young couple never asked for the help but they always helped. They helped them in different ways even when the young couple never understood that they were helping. When they were trying to build something and they failed even after trying so much their neighbors helped them. During the time when they were trying to do farming in the house garden their neighbors helped them. The young couples never liked their neighbors even then the neighbors helped so much during the time of woman's pregnancy. So, really the neighbors had helped them a lot. They helped the young couples without even expecting anything from them. 4. Study the bar graph given below and write an interpretation of it in about 150 words. 7. Enrollment of students in different steams at a college. In the given bar graph, it indicates that in 2016 AD, humanities consists of many students about 600 at this college. In same year, there are few, about 120, students join science stream, about 230 students join management in same year. In 2017 AD, science steams consists the highest. There are altogether 420 students in science, 340 students in humanities, and 200 in management. In 2018 AD, science has more students, 350, management has 310 students, and humanities has 305 students. In 2019 AD, humanities and science have same number of students, 200, and management has are about 600 students. In 2020 AD, science has altogether 500 students. Management has more student than humanities. In 2016 AD, humanities has higher students, science in 2020 and management in 2019. The number of students in science and management is increasing but in humanities it is decreasing. 5. What changes have started to occur in Nepali families in recent days? What impact will they bring on the society? Write an essay on it. 8. Nepal is a developing country. Nepal is still behind than other country in terms of development. Nepal was a patriarchal country where women were not allowed to work and read. Only men were allowed to go out and work. Previously, there were a lot of problems in Nepal such as Shopadi Prata. 
In this ritual, girls during their menstruation period were kept in shed, the place where cows live, just because people thought they were untouchable during those days, dowry system was very popular previously. The father of bride anyhow had to fulfill the demands of the groom's family otherwise the bride was tortured a lot. The girls were not allowed to study and go out to work. Nowadays, Nepali families thought have changed. It has improved a lot than previous times. Now, when the girls are having their period they are told to take rest inside the room as it is a good thing to have periods. Now, girls proudly go to school and work outside. There is no discrimination between boys and girls. Girls are not forced to get married in childhood by their parents. It is a good change indeed, such changes helps in countries' development as well. Nowadays, girls and boys work together and are progressing really well also. If such changes are taken more seriously, it would be beneficial for the society as well. But still there are some villages which need to change their thought and it will happen sooner or later. 6. Write a review of a movie you have watched recently. 10. Bagban. This is an old movie but I watched it some days ago. Actually, I have watched this movie a lot of times. This movie is really very good. The story is extraordinary. In this movie, Omitob Barkchan is a highly honest job holder and his wife is a housewife. They love each other a lot. One fine day, it was time for his retirement. He decided to call all of his four sons to him as it was the time of Holai. He wanted now that it's time for their children to take care of them. They celebrated Holai really nicely with all fun singing and dancing. The Holai festivals ends and he decides to discuss his thought with his four sons. And when they asked them to take care of them now as it's their time to relax now. The son said we can't take both of you together as we have a lot of responsibilities within our family. They kept a condition in front of their parents saying that each son will keep them in their house for six months but they need to be separated. Omitob Barkchan doesn't want this to happen as he wanted to give his time to his wife now but because of his wife he had to agree with them. They got separated and went to their son's house separately. They used to write letters to each other's. Their sons and daughter-in-law were very rude to them. They treated them very badly. During the time of this separation he wrote a book and named it Bagban. The book got published and got very famous. During the time of getting award all his sons were present in the function including Salman Khan. He was not their son by blood but they were the one who gave him education and a better lifestyle. When he had to give his speech he told everything and when it was time to introduce his son he called Salman Khan despite of having four sons. At last, where the sons regretted and asked for forgiveness they didn't forgive them. This is a beautiful movie which makes us realize the importance of our parents. The movie inspires us that we should always love and take care of our parents in their old age. 7. Do as indicated or choose appropriate option from the bracket and rewrite the sentences. 10 times 1 is equal to 10. A. Respect the flag. Change into passive. Let the flag be respected. B. She told me that I hadn't played with her the previous day. Change into direct. She said, you didn't play with me yesterday? C. She had come here. The 25th of September. Write appropriate preposition. She had come here on the 25th of September. D. Nobody likes him. Write question tag. Nobody likes him, do they? E. A pair of trousers. Expensive. Is or uh, has have. A pair of trousers are expensive. F. He made me. My homework. To do, do, done, doing. He made me do my homework. G. Had they not cancelled the ticket of the bus? They wouldn't have killed in the bus accident, they would have been killed in the bus accident, they wouldn't have been killed in the bus accident. Had they not cancelled the ticket of the bus, they would have been killed in the bus accident. H. She is a nature lover and. So do I, so am I, so are I, so is I. 
She is a nature lover and so am I. I an agreement was made between. He and I and me and him him and me him and I. An agreement was made between him and me. J. She better not bunk the class. Right question tag. She better not bunk the class, had she? 8. Do as instructed. 5 times 1 is equal to 5. A. Using the given prefixes, make a word of each. I. Mono 2. Semi. B. Define patriarchal family. C. The synonym of fortune is. I. Serendipity 2. Past 3. Might 4. Peanuts. D. The word delicate has its closest meaning to. I. Intricate 2. Flimsy 3. Lurid 4. Dainty. E. Find a pair of homophones from the following. I. Bow bow 2. Air air 3. Cash catch 4. Sit to cheat. Answer. A. Using the given prefixes, make a word of each. I. Monopoly 2. Semicircle. B. Define patriarchal family. Family which ruled or controlled by men, giving power and importance only to men. C. The synonym of fortune is. I. Serendipity. D. The word delicate has its closest meaning to. Dainty. E. Find a pair of homophones from the following. Air Air. All the best.